Dear girls and boys, today I am showing you the success that is also a failure. How can a success be a failure? Well, apparently it can and I wasn't uh, aware of it. Well, here is my new rig hanging on the wall. It looks nice performs greatly there's a cooling to it what's the cooling well the cooling sits behind the monitor on the end stand there's a pump so we have 280 millimeters and 560 millimeters of radiating power as you can see it is silent Now, what does this do? Well, now it is rendering in Blender. And I mean rendering on GPU. And it's silent. And it renders. And it renders in overclocking. 1000 on memories. 150 on core and 128 percent of power 48 degrees nice huh yeah it is nice it can render on all programs like that silently the temperature of the coolant is 33 degrees let's see the cpu the cpu is 5900x and it runs from 500, 5100 and on all clocks and it's uh, Asus adaptive uh, overclocking and it, it, it's all great. The memory runs uh, uh, 3800 on CL14, 14, 14, 14, 28, 42, one common rate time. The CPU is on very low, let's say, temperatures for rendering and everything should be fine. The 3080 Ti is performing greatly. Everything is almost fine and great. You can see that we will disable this one. We will put cycles on CPU. We will start rendering on CPU. The CPU renders. Silently. Total silence. Yeah. Okay. 83 degrees, 4.7 gigahertz and average 4.7 gigahertz almost on all cores all the time 12 cores 28 threads astonishing power but i am building workstations all the time and i am building workstations for rendering exactly but this was to be my rig for gaming and what I have done is I've took original uh, cooling, air cooling from 3080 Ti and put EK water blocks, water block and active cooling backplate. Great. What I have used for it, I used the best thermal paste that I've known, Thermal Grease 4 from AAB. And I use GP Ultimate thermal pads, 15 watts. Now, in everything, this one is silent. You can try to hear the pump. Do you hear it? No, you don't. But, and the coolant for it is, even probably 
just 33 degrees. Everything is fine, dandy, and stable, and all, all the stuff. But why is it a failure? Now I'll show you the failure. We're gonna cry. We're gonna cry for it. Now, the failure. First of all, can you hear it? clicking the clicking comes from PSU I will change it it wasn't clicking on 12 what 1200 watts but now on 1000 watt dark power pro 12 it's clicking I don't know why but now let's run some benchmark And let's hear what is happening. How long can you go? Okay, demo. Didn't want the demo, but this doesn't matter. Now, can you hear it? There's a call wine such a big coil wine that I wouldn't say it is possible. Yes, it is silent here in the room. Yes, it is only 26 decibels. But hell, when I'm when I have my uh, all of my windows closed or it's a night, it is so hearable. And that's a bad thing because in the same room I have my sleeping beauty, so my wife, and she will probably will not be able to sleep to such a coil line. But it's get even worse than that. The worst thing is on the game that it was supposed to be a uh, working with cyberpunk no coil wine because we are not in 3d so nothing happens here don't know what is going on but yeah And I've come to every bit of the problem. How to mount this 240. You can see that there is a part that is pushing it to the front. And all the stuffs. How to connect it. How long should be tubes. How to connect all those stuff. How to get front panel to it. This is standard OVT bench table. This is still... A movie from the game so there's no call wine still no coil wine I don't know I thought this was pretty too but never mind we get continue and something starting to happen something is whining 
Now, I'm gonna drive here. You're gonna listen here. The faster I drive, the bigger the call line. Huh? I'm driving faster. The frames to frames are changing rapidly and the coils are whining like crazy. The funny thing is the higher frame rate, the higher the pitch of the coil. Don't know why. Just like that. Whining like hell. Yes, it is silent. Yes, it is. But I wanted this to be super silent. Yes, it's about 80 frames per second on 2K, all on Ultra. Yes. Yes, it is. But this... That's a bummer. That's even I probably worse sound than than fans, I think, sometimes. So, but not to judge just one, but about one game that is uh, on settings like graphics everything is on high 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 i don't like volumetric cloud quality but everything oh ray tracing let's go i thought i was on ray tracing so yeah let's see hmm? now with ray tracing we have even more coil whining like like uh, crazy we are driving, we are driving, and the calls are whining. Whining, whining, whining on the river. What? No. No. So, yeah, it's like, um, hmm. well, and um, what I have to say is that. Let's go to the graphic card. The graphic card, GPU, 52 degrees max. Memory junction temperature is 60. The GPU hotspot 63. And it's still overclocked. But you can hear it still. It is whining, something is buzzing. And it's the graphic card. So, in case of the cooling, in case of the cooling, we gotta say, and in case of the performance, as I've said, I um, I achieved great scores with it. Great. As you can see, the, there is already temperature 33 degrees and it's coming down because the liquid is 33, 32 degrees. Okay, big cooler, big cooler, over, everything is in place. Now, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, what I think I'm going to do is, first of all, I will exchange this PSU, which is giving me... Is it the ticking bomb? I don't know. I don't know. Well, this is purely new PSU. Nothing was ever run on uh, on it. I never used it for any uh, benchmarks. Nothing. This is purely out of the box. Just right there to put it under this motherboard. Now, the second thing is, what I will try to do, as the coil whining can be 
put down by glue, which I don't want to do, but also by encapsulating it in bigger, let's say, um, higher, thicker thermal pads, I will probably try and unmount all of the so two hours of work just go and uh, take all the thermal pads from the uh, from this side and some thermal pads from the back side uh, on coils and I will put here all one and a half millimeter I will heat it up by a um, hair dryer and on hot uh, thermal pads the GPU Ultimate I will try to put uh, the water block that will be still uh, having a good contact with uh, between water block and the chip it might help we will see if uh, 1200 PSU will from the same because I have to like the same DAC Power Pro 12 uh, will help uh, but I think that coil winding is due to that that um, we have here uh, one millimeter uh, thermal pads from EK uh, should be from EK like instructions but originally on those graphic cards under air cooling there are thermal pads which are three to four millimeters high. Really, they're very thick. So they're holding those, uh, mm, uh, those, and they are soft like a bit, and they're pushed hardly on the coils. So I think this might be to the ability of those coils to move, but it's a really huge problem right now. So. I gotta tell you, if you um, want to change to water, it is probably better that uh, those graphic cards, new graphic cards, you are planning to have them under the um, under the desk and having them in case. You can always have uh, cooling externally, like. I have here so on end stand a special stand that is for uh, the radiator and the pump but yeah and as you can see we are working now for five hours I was doing many different things and how about the pump the pump was from 1800 to 1900 and what about fans fans were from 800 to 1000 rpms and everything is right in great temperatures and everything works and it's just coil whining so much yes that makes me an unhappy person because i was working on this project for a long long time and despite having it right now with great temperatures, 30 degrees, with uh, 31 degrees of uh, liquid. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> so, yeah, and uh, so the plan was great. The precision of the mounting and all the stuff was great. The, mm, like, let's say, making it, was hard the effect for rendering is great for gaming is shit so yeah i'm gonna be trying to solve this coil winding stuff so uh i'll be updating this video in probably a week and we will see what am i able to get from my new beautiful gaming rig. Cheers!